Number 30. What is the peak EMF generated by rotating a 1,000 turn 20 centimeter diameter coil in the Earth's 5 times 10 to the minus 5th Tesla magnetic field, given the plane of the coil is originally perpendicular to the Earth's field and is rotated to be parallel to the field in 10 milli <clears throat> seconds? Okay, starting to lose my voice. So, so what happens when you talk like 15 hours a day? So um, we have a formula over here on the uh, right-hand side we're going to use. Uh, anytime we're rotating a coil in an uh, external magnetic field, it's acting as basically a generator, and we're producing uh, an induced uh, EMF. Now, EMF is a voltage. So uh, instead of writing EMF sub O, which represents the peak you know, EMF, uh, which is a voltage, I'm going to just represent it as V sub P because, I don't know, it makes more sense, voltage and peak, so peak voltage. So anyway, uh, we're going to then... Uh, in order to find that, we need to multiply the number of turns of the coil, the area, cross-sectional area of the coil, that is, um, that is experienced in the magnetic field, multiplied then by the um, the uh, magnetic field strength, and then multiplied by now the angular uh, velocity. Okay? So, what we now need to do is we now need to calculate um, the... Uh, angular velocity on this. That's really the missing piece, right? Because we know the turns, it's a thousand. We know the area, well, they gave us the diameter, so you already know, well, half of that must be the radius, so then that's going to be 10 centimeters. But you know, then we have to convert that into meters, so that's 0.1 meters, and then we have to multiply that by pi, and don't forget to square it. That's the area, right? So simple now, right? Tons of practice, that's how fast you're going to get. So uh, external magnetic field, they already told us, 5 times 10 to the minus 5th. So the question is, what the heck in the world is the angular velocity, Okay. So what I need to do is I need to focus on how to find then that, you know, angular uh, velocity. So imagine, you know, something is starting perpendicular and then it rotates to be parallel to it, right? So just pretend like you have two items here and here, okay? Let me put the bottom in a different color. And what you're going to do is you're going to rotate one of the items that is initially perpendicular to the blue line and it's going to rotate to become parallel, okay? My question is how many radians, you can also think about it in degrees, how many radians is uh, being moved, or how many degrees? You might say, well, if it starts at 90 and it goes to zero, it's not a hard question, right? It's 90. That's how many degrees it's moving. And in other words, if you also knew then the radians, 90 degrees correlates to pi over 2 radians, okay? Remember, 2 pi radians are in a full circle, so one-fourth of that must be then the 90-degree angle, right, because it's 360 degrees. So then that's just going to be pi over 2 radians. So you already know now the number of radians. It's pi over 2, right? But it's pi over 2 radians and how much time? Well, it's 10 milliseconds. So wait a minute. Andrew, you're saying if I took pi over 2 radians and then I divided it by the 10 milliseconds, but, you know, we need that in seconds, meaning the 0 0.01 seconds, that I would find my answer in radians per second. And wait a minute, Andrew, is that the unit of angular velocity? Yeah, radians per second, right? Last from the past. So take pi, divide it by 2, and then divide it by 0.01. So you get about 157 or so. 157 radians per second. Boom! Goes the dynamite. And all we now need to do is basically take this and plug it in. And plug everything else in. Okay? So here now, the peak voltage is going to be equal to the number of turns, which was 1,000. The cross-sectional area, we already talked about how to calculate that, right? So it's going to be pi times then 0 0.1 squared, okay? The magnetic field is Earth's field, so it's 5 times 10 to the minus 5th. And now this is 157. Oh, oh well, okay. I guess, uh, sure. Um, and uh, all we now need to do is calculate. I'm going to use that exact number of 157.079, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to take that, multiply it then by 1,000, then multiply that by pi, and then multiply that by 0.1 squared, and then multiply that by 5 times 10 to the minus 5th. And here we go. 0 0.2... Squeaky chair. So uh, 0 0.247. 247, okay? Um... Squeaky chair. Uh, voltage. Okay? Volts. And that's it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. And if it did, give us a hand. Like button, subscribe. You know what to do. All right? We've got a whole lot of other videos out there. If you're taking chemistry or math at the same time, you know, some type of pre-calculus, we've got a whole lot of solved problems out there. Okay? You can uh, use those open stacks books, even if you're not using it, right, for the class. you got solved problems. I guarantee 
you're going to find problems very similar to the ones that you're having that we have solved uh, out there. Okay. So um, yeah, be well, take care.